to be reviewing the Scala RTA by Vicious Ant. Um, this advice was sent to me um, so that way I could do the review. Um, shout out to Eugene for allowing me to use it. Um, for those who know who he is here, he was a good guy. He also let me use the uh, DPM Mods pipe. So, you know, with that, without further ado, I'm going to bring it down you, show you what's inside the package. We're going to wick it up, get it ready, bring it on top. Um, I'm going to give you my pros, cons, whatever I feel about it. And remember, my opinions are subjective. Whether you like them or not, I don't care. You know, but in the end of the day, let's just bring it down. All right, so here it is. Skyella RTA in a typical patch packaging. Blip, English again. Packaging by Vicious Ant. Um, typical black box that we've seen pretty much in all their atomizers. They don't know how to change anything up or make anything different. Other than when they had the Dukes. They made it a uh, ugly blue. And uh, yeah, and then a brown box is the other one. But typically the sticker on it is going to identify what serial number is. Very cheesy you know way to do it um just in my opinion a piece of masking tape that's all this is with a number written on it now remember this device has been used not by only me by by the original owner so let's open it up show you what's inside so here you go you're going to get your tank and on this side here i'm going to pull this out real quick you're going to get the drip tip that it comes with so as you can see it's a clear drip tip and then with that, you're also going to get some extra spares, some O-rings, some screws. And that's pretty much it that comes in the package. Um, so we'll take this out, set it off to the side. You know, nothing to pull out. So we take that, set it over. We're going to open up our drip tip. Show you the drip tip a little bit. Put the bag on the side. Now, with this drip tip, I'm going to be honest with you, let's clear this up. There we go. It is pretty narrow inside. They had a lot more room to make this bigger or do a better job. They just pretty much cut a piece of tubing, polished it off, threw two O-rings on it, and put it in there. Not much effort put into this. Okay? And I'll show you some other things about it as well. Not just the drip tip, but the atomizer. So I set that off to the side. So here it is. Let's bring this up a little bit. About right there. And uh, clear it up. There we go. So here it is, the Skyella RTA. So underneath is where the serial number right here is going to be, but it is a used device. So I'm going to give it to you the best I can because it does have some wear on the bottom. But under here, it says Vicious Ant made in the Philippines, serial number, which is right there which you're not really going to be able to see just because of the reflection and it has been used but it's about right there you can kind of see it right there 100 just like the box said it says vicious ant and then made in the philippines around the bottom so that's what it looks like there so we'll bring this back up a little bit clear it up all right now let's clear it up some more right here all right so, Skyella RTA. Uh, let's clear up some more. There we go. So here it is. Basically, this is the 4 mil rendition. They make another one that's half this size for a 2 millimeter. And then it is a top fill. You unscrew the top, take it off, and you fill it up through the two holes on the top. Now, here's something I'm going to bring out. Threading on this was pre is pretty smooth. But let me show you this top cap. This top cap is what gets me the most. Okay, so as you can see, there's where your drip tip goes. Machining from when I got it was still pretty good, even though it's used. They have good knurling on the sides, you know, for grip right here. Good threads underneath with an O-ring to seal it to the atomizer itself. And then also, the one thing that I said, it looks stupid. They cut a groove around the base of the drip tip. What was that for? What are you going to do? 
buy a bigger drip tip that you just stick on top and put an o-ring on it I mean that makes no sense you know they don't provide you no drip tip for an o-ring to sit on there so you know that just it makes no sense and it takes away from the aesthetics of this whole tank okay so there's that then you have your airflow adjustment let's just unzoom it a little bit clear it up airflow adjustment is just typical spin and then you have your smaller options right here let's bring it over let's get it up here because the light seems to be reflecting a lot so you have your airflow for your smaller air and a single hole here a small and a bigger hole here three big holes three big holes so this is more for your direct lung and then you can adjust it to break it down to become smaller and which will match the opposite side um, for the single hole let's see here let's bring it around for this dual hole you have a hole here anyway so it doesn't matter whether you spin this or not it's just going to do what it wants to do you know so there's no way to truly bring this down to a mouth the lung um, single airflow hole option the only thing that nice right now is their laser etching of the name Skyla and then to break it down you're supposed to be able to unscrew this but as you see there's no way to to grip this properly to loosen this up without your airflow also being affected so even if I put it on a build deck let's see if it'll work this time I've had nothing but issues with this thing so on my build deck you know you're supposed to be able to turn this that tightening it now it's working partially see it doesn't want to you're supposed to be able to spin this freely with zero issues to start separating it from the deck now I'm pushing into my build deck as hard as I can at the same time spinning this ring to get it to get ready to unlock itself once you get to a certain point it will start to break free so there it is broke free now on the inside of this you have I'll show you you have your juice uh, wicking well here here and this is where your cotton will sit I'm not your cotton but this is um, where the deck post will sit and and this is where your cotton will sit right above the juice well so not bad chimney obviously and you see that big screw head now let me show you something let me show you how how many pieces this thing breaks in down to okay so here we are I'm gonna take this thing completely apart and show you so you need a screwdriver with a big head on it you're gonna to have to loosen it and then if you don't take this thing apart properly you'll see that now this is topped it's grooved out on the top the same grooves that are built into this you'll see there's two large and two small same on this top section here then underneath is where you now have this chamber that's sitting here is now it's free floating and it'll drop out once you push everything apart I guess there it goes so once you separate this now you can see the rubber o-rings that are inside let me push those back down because they loosen themselves up and what this does this seals it to the deck and also so your, your juice don't come out you can not pop this out so you can clean this separately then you can clean your tank out on the bottom there's only two cuts which will match up to the two cuts of this ring which then all you do is you line them up you push it down and it clips back into place and it's held by an o-ring now you see this madness that's sitting here okay well let me explain this madness so up underneath of here when you put this together you'll see a large section here and a smaller section here you're going to separate these two sections by just pulling this out 
and then realize there's another piece here. So this is going to drop out. So remember, this has to come back into here, okay, and it has a groove channel cut into it. And what that groove channel is for is for when you put it back together underneath of this tank inside of here. Let's see if I can zoom it in and let you see it. You can see the cutout here and over here. And that's where this is going to come into play because you can't even see it on there. So let's take it out. So for this piece here that you have to have in there, which is also your chimney lock, it has these groove cuts into it. And what that does is when you put it all together, you got to line those holes up, which can be a bit of a nuisance, which is another problem for this tank. It locks in like this with the other deck, rest of the deck on the other side. So once you get that, pop that back out. All right. So that's your tank broken down. So how do I put this back together? So we know where this goes. So it's easy. You drop this in. You got to make sure it lines in. So it drops in. You're going to put, sorry, pieces want to fall right on in. You're going to get this other piece. You're going to have to get it lined up inside as well. So it sits in flush. So it looks like this. Sorry, let me clear that up. So once you get it, you see it'll line up flush, okay? Very flush. Machining inside, don't get me wrong, is impeccable. It, there's really no machine marks from what I saw. And then what you're going to have to do is basically put your deck back on or your chimp your tank section back onto this to make sure that this locks down hold on let's put it back together let's take it back apart get this section back out see this is where I get confused sometimes Okay, so let's flip this over. Oh, it goes in just like this. So this is where it's going to sit, like this. And that's why I was doing it upside down. So this piece will go in here, drop in, you'll flip it over. You'll then have to line up those two cuts. Sorry, wrong side again. Right. run away there we go boom now it's back in line up the ports the best to get this thing in here you have to get them lined up so I always have to use a screwdriver to get it lined in there so once this is in what this is doing is now locking the chimney so you're going to have to keep your finger on this Flip your tank upside down. Take the other part of your chimney now, okay? You're going to have to line the big hole up with the small holes. And it slips right in. Now take your screwdriver. Tighten it down. And now, tighten it down. Because if you don't tighten this down, what I've noticed when you use this, and you go to unscrew your top cap or whatever, or you use this because as you see right now the holes pretty much are locked halfway right now and what I've noticed is there's really no way to unlock this here from the bottom you have to have it actually on the deck itself so you put it back on the deck you're gonna find where it's gonna go here it is Screw it down some. Undo it. And let's see here. 
put this back on, screw it down. Once this is tight, Okay, let's stop this. Okay, so once you get it all together, you, there's really no way to unlock this juice channel. So what you have to do is you have to line it back up, making sure the juice ports are where they go, which you'll see it'll slide right on, tighten it down, and then now your juice flow control is just a light twist back and forth. So you can untwist it, twist it back off, and there's your juice chores, your ports closed. Line it up again, twist it, go the opposite way, undo it, and now they're pretty much open. Um, they seem to like to open on their own. Sometimes, I don't know. But all you have to do now is screw down your cap. Put your tank together, but first we're going to put some wick into it. So right now what I'm doing is I'm running some cotton bacon prime. And the reason why I'm using prime is because I have a lot of it. And also it's super resorbent. So as it feeds this, it has no problems. Now a lot of people say they want to see what this thing ohms out to. So they know safety. Let's see, now this thing has locked itself. There it goes. Okay, so... Put it on my mod, which I'm using their Duke 2, which is mine. You can see the review down below in the other videos. It's ohming. Zoom it in, clear it up. Zoom in. See if you can see that. 1.501 and I've been running it at 20 watts okay so back it back out clear it back up all right so now put cotton in it I don't care if I use this to burn in today Once you get your cotton in, just pull it just snug enough that you know that your coil barely moves. Now I'm using a fine gauge Clapton or fuse Clapton in mine. So it has a tendency to move anyway, but I know where the snugness is. Now you're going to cut your cotton right at the edge of these um, wells right here. So let me zoom it in. Bring it over, clear that up for you. All right, so you're gonna cut on these edges right here. So you're just gonna come in and cut. And the reason why you're coming in to cut it so close, not only is it going right on the wicking channel, but also is because you've gotta thread down your tank now. So your tank needs a place to go so you're not ripping your cotton around so it's not ripping and roaring around inside of here. Mm, just having a problem right now getting this clipped. There we go. There we go. So extra cotton, toss it in the trash. Now you see, once you do it, all you do is you lay your cotton out like that. Okay, that's all you do. Lay your cotton like that. Really simple, done. Two screws, easy. Either way you roll or wrap your coil, it's going to work. Um, I'm going to prime this with some Indulge Amber. Sorry, Indulge Amber. Okay, so all I'm going to do. Is focus this, let's get the tweezers out of the way, screwdriver out of the way, scissors out of the way, cotton that I'm not going to use, throw that in the trash, don't need the build deck, set that off, having a little fun, let's keep it going, let's get it on the run. 
just put it on slight burn the coil heats up just enough burn it burn it now the coil is now going to start soaking it up and also it's going to start soaking into the um, cotton inside the coil as well so there it is it's all you need to do get it primed up because the way this sets your cotton's going to sit right on top. Now, tighten it down. Now it's done. You're going to twist off the top. Make sure the juice ports are closed. When you look inside, you can see whether they're open right here. Okay, you can see on the inside right down through here whether they're open or closed. It's hard to show on camera. So we're going to make sure that's closed off, put your juice in, and just fill up some juice in it. I'm not putting a whole lot in there. Um, I'm going to put my drip tip in the center. I'm going to go ahead and screw this down because this builds pressure. That's why you want to keep it closed. And then I'm going to open it back up. And now it is officially wicked. Okay, so now what I'm going to do, is we're going to bring it back up top. So I'll see you in a second. Is it on? Ready? Okay, welcome back up on top with the Scala, Scala, however you say it, RTA by Vicious Ant. Now, the controversy that surrounded this tank, okay, was the clash between Mr. J. Hayes and Vicious Ant's company themselves. Um, as everybody knows, it was put out that the initial design of this was Mr. Hayes's. And all they did was modify a few things. Okay. So, I can see the modifications. And here's some modifications I'm also going to announce. They added an airflow on the bottom. Great. They made a cut on the top. Great. They didn't do the necking funnel up. Okay. But most of the rest of this is what I saw was going to be his. The way the deck setup was, the juice setting on top, etc. But... Then you also saw that you, that nice Instagram video of just twist offs, take off your tank, set it off to the side, grab another one, put it on, twist it on, boom, you were done. No, can't do that. If you twist it by grabbing here and it works, like right now it's doing it for me, then you can twist, 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 twist and pull off as long as you made sure you locked your juice out and it's not open, okay? Now, when your juice is there, you can go around and find the hole if you can, which for me is difficult with juice in it. To know if it's open or closed. Um, and I'm going to start off on what they call their mouth, the lung. The drip tip, for one thing is, I would probably put this more for their mouth and lung guys and then I'm going to show you my drip tip that I would use at the end. The drip tip only matches the tank. It doesn't flow with it. Reason why? They put a cutout like an o-ring was designed to go on top of the tank. What for? Looks ugly. Looks stupid. Be straight up honest with you. The writing of Scala looks good. Don't get me wrong. Nice. The knurling on the top and bottom looks good don't get me wrong nice but flavor extremely muted and that's with my build and my build equals out to be smaller than 28 gauge with a fuse clapped and it's 32 gauge dual core wrapped in 38 gauge nichrome 80 and I'm still oming at a 1.5 zero zero exactly a 1.5 ohm coil 2.5 millimeter inner diameter around 9 10 wraps so I could fill up that area because the airflow goes to the sides and on top 
and it does good. I'm firing it at 20 watts, which is putting me at 5.4 volts and 3.7 amps. So let's do this. Let's bring the power up to try to get a little bit more. Let's bring it up to 21 watts. 5.6, 3.8 amps only. That's their mouth and lung right there. To me, that's like a restricted direct lung. Now let's open this up, which you have to put your fingernails inside of this airflow to get it going. This is gonna be wide open, three holes on each side. You can hear it. Flavor is okay. Pretty muted to me for what I got. And to me, a lot of that goes to the tip. The tip has such a small bore inside, it's no good. I don't like this tip. So what I do is, or what I was doing was I put my own tip on it which then kind of accented their stupid cutout that they have on the top of the tank. Wide open, pretty noisy for such an expensive tank. I drop it down usually to two holes per side, okay? That's about the closest I can get to where the flavor of indulged amber comes out. I've tried it on American Juice, I've tried it on Humble's um, something treats, I forgot what it's called exactly, but um, um, it's basically their marshmallow juice. I've tried it with Prohibition, which is like, it's a golden cookie pastry flavor, it's pretty sweet. and. The flavors are very muted in this. No matter what I put into it, it's a muted flavor. You're getting a muted flavor off of this thing. It's a $150 US tank in pesos, 7,500, okay? That's before shipping. Shipping is another 50 bucks. So as you can hear my coil cracking, now I'm starting to get bubbles to come through if I do a long drag. Now with that, the flavor is still muted. I got some flavor out of it at 21 watts. I don't want to crank it too high because I am using a fine wire. If I get too hot, I can melt my wire and I'm not going to do that for this. And I'm not going to put a massive build in here because I think it's too thick because it is a reduced chamber. Even though the air comes and hits on the sides and up underneath of it, which is a decent look, just all together it doesn't make sense. Okay, it's not worth what you're spending on this tank. There's too many tanks out there in the $200 realm before shipping, you know, that you can get that you'll be 10 times happier with. That's just my honest opinion. The tank does not do also what they showed on their Instagram video, which was twist off and set to the side to swap it out called easy swap. It doesn't do it. The only thing is, is cutting your juice on and off. That's it. You got to twist and hope it comes off. I'm running it on their product, so it should come right off, right? I mean, it doesn't make sense that I have to put my own drip tip in that's a wire bore to try to get some flavor out of it. So with that, you know, my issue is kicking people off pages and out of their groups because they voice their opinion during the time of the controversy. I stayed out of the controversy and let the companies deal with it. But at the end of the day, I never purchased a tank because there's something that was just off to me. Um, glad I did because um, the flavor is not worth 150 bucks to me. Sorry. I'd rather go spend $150 on a dwarf or something else, you know. I'll just be honest with you, there's too much out there. Um, the fact that it's not the quick release system they said, another negative to me. The fact they got this gay ass cutout on the top of it, another negative to me. 
the fact that all the pieces inside of it are not done perfect so you have to sit there and fiddle and finger fuck the damn thing that's another problem to me because this is for like a super advanced user someone who's willing to take their time to make sure everything is perfectly aligned when you clean this tank out right okay great you get a, a crystal clear drip tip so what your drip tip doesn't do no good it doesn't match it goes in the center of everything and it doesn't go with the flow of the tank I used to be a big supporter of this group, you know, but it to me it just seems like everything has stayed the same, nothing has really changed, and then this tank comes out, which is their first tank release after the um, the Kraken, which, you know, when you initially get it, you had to run OCC Kanger Tech coils in it, and then if you wanted a build deck, you had to go out and buy the Kanger Tech build deck, and to me, that's just going backwards in time, you know, not advancing any type of things forward um i have mods that cost less than the mod sitting here and it's better quality just be honest and so that's my view on this tank if i rated from a 1 to 10 it'd get maybe a 2 if it was lucky 1.52 reason being is the only thing is a saving grace on this tank or to give that high of a rating is the knurling for you for you to somewhat grip it at least for the top then the writing that's on the side and that's pretty much it maybe the airflow you know because it is nice to have a three-way airflow on there so you can get good airflow but i think with that airflow it also eliminates a lot of the flavor out of it even on mouth the lung or what they call mouth the lung is really a, like a super restricted direct lung. It's not even mouth the lung. You can't cut it down to one hole. So other than that, that's all I got for the tank today. And don't forget, like probate, uh, community news, PH. My name is Joshua Ozzy. I'm with the Uncharted Vapors. Uh, probate, be, commu <coughs> probate community news. Um, and also... Um, I'm with, you know, I do a lot of stuff to help out with Dincot with ProVape. So we help vapors all the time. We help them to quit smoking and start vaping. You know, we support, you know, getting smokers into a healthier lifestyle. So with that, that's all I'm going to say today. So hope you enjoyed today's re um, review. Um, if you're going to be one of those bashers that want to go in there and be a keyboard warrior because you don't like my opinion, don't, don't, don't even waste your time. Because one of two things going to happen. I'm going to delete your comment off or I'm going to block you off there so you never can see my videos again. I don't care if I only have 150 subs. It doesn't bother me. Okay. Um, hopefully you like the video and you sub to the channel for more reviews that will come up. A lot of things will be for things here in the country um, to help out others in the area. So other than that, I'll talk to you next time and I hope you enjoy. Can you see my whole body? Oh, oh my, even your arms, guy. <laughs> How about is this better here? No. Over here. You're too big, so that then got like gonna see them. I love you. See, it's it's time now, cause I'm gonna shit. Hey, don't put it. I'm gonna kill you, okay? Ah, see, of the review now with this uh, I'm gonna be very honest it's a controversial item but that's either neither 
that's heather whatever it's doesn't matter whether it's here that mm -mm, mess that all up mm -hmm. that don't matter either there or now nah. yep mm -hmm. jumbling up all the english mm -hmm. it doesn't matter whether some believe it some don't believe it the dispute is amongst the people who are involved um.